Hi guys, this is Fabrizio and today we're gonna talk about a new project, it's a new software and it's a new launcher for our Android phones and it's called the Ubuntu Launcher. So for the one of you who follow my channel, I usually shoot my videos in Italian because actually I am Italian, uh, but this time I want to make a test with the English language because uh, I know for sure that a special person is gonna watch this video. So let's switch the camera and get to the software. So here we are on my Nexus 4 uh, with Ubuntu Launcher. So you can recognize some graphic elements here from Ubuntu desktop. Uh, the main parts we're gonna see the status bar up here and the launcher itself here uh, on the left side. Uh, in the main part in the center there is actually nothing at this moment. If we click this first icon here it's gonna show us all the install application on our phone and we, if we tap in the search input box uh, we can filter the applications just let's try and the search is also very 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 fast as booth but now let's dive into the settings menu and check what's inside as you can see there are a lot of settings uh, let's check them out quickly the launcher width and this is one of the most important ones the launcher icon background opacity if the launcher itself is going to be available inside other apps and this is again important also if it's marked as experimental and we will see it later show the panel the panel it's this part i want to mark it out for you let's go back panel opacity dynamic unity background color so it's going to calculate the color itself based on the background of the, of the phone unity background opacity again unity dash search uh, take more sample and use hsv for uh, again for color calculation based on the background but i want to show you something this is almost the um, default setting for the launcher but if we're gonna shrink the launcher let's see uh, this is a layout that I really like more than the default one and also I like to uh, where is it where is it where is it where is it show panel to hide the panel so this is um, the layout I've been using for a few days now but then it can seem quite useless this way so let's start adding some applications here and it's really really easy as an example i want to add chrome for sure facebook simply you have to tap for a few seconds on the icon and the application is going to directly uh, stack itself into the launcher bar the maybe the camera mm, i don't know let and spotify yeah for sure Okay, so as you can see, the background colors of the icons are automatically adjusted in some way, I don't know, they are really cool. If we launch one application, the effect is like a zoom from the background to, the, to bring the, the application in the foreground. And again, it's going to zoom out when we close the application. So, uh, one very nice thing I like about this launcher is that we launch an application which is not in the taskbar here, Gmail, and let's close. You can see it's appearing here uh, at the bottom of the bar and there is a, a nice sign here on the left showing that the application is actually running. I want to show you some more, let's add more application, let's run more application actually, multi-ROM, the um, clock. Now we have more application than the, the space available here, so as you can see the, the icons can scroll. Let's add something more because it's not really easy to understand. I mean, I like this kind of approach. In this moment you can see that we have the search menu always open but this is not the, the default because this should be closed and in this main part we don't have anything i want to go back a little bit in the settings menu because if we show the panel here which is something i've disabled before and go back we can see that this panel here it's doing nothing so at the moment it's not clear what it's meant to it's just to mimic the, the desktop uh, uh, layout if we click this icon, we can go back to the preferences, 
but we have already this kind of uh, this icon here so we actually we don't need it so I'm gonna shut it off again I want to show you a really cool feature that's been added in one of the latest releases and that's it if you open an application and then swipe from the left the launcher itself is gonna appear and it allows you to click and go directly to some application very quickly without going back to the home uh, this uh, this feature it's not really always working I don't exactly know why and it, anyway it's marked as experimental so let's go back to the home page because I want to show you the last thing if you want to remove an application from an application from the launcher you have to tap to long tap as you can see the um, settings menu down here it became a trash bin we throw the application in the trash bin and then it's been removed from the launcher uh, for the running applications let's try to close them and they also disappear from here this one is not disappearing I think because some kind of application don't really die uh, when we remove them I'm not sure about it well, that's pretty much it. I have to say that I like this new launcher because it's quick and smooth and it's work, it works fine. Uh, the only problem that I see here and it is that we have to understand what is this area about, or maybe that's something I actually like also, is to have uh, the dash with all the available application always open. But actually at that point, maybe this button it wouldn't be very useful anymore. Anyway, let's see what the future brings. So guys, these were my impressions on the Ubuntu launcher. Uh, if I missed anything, please let me know in the comments below and let me know also what you think about it, if you like it or not. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below and if you want to keep in touch with me, subscribe to the channel. So, see you soon in the next video. Ciao!